All right, let's play a game. Let's say that you have a car that's placed on a road that is 100 miles long. This car takes one hour to reach the end of the road. So what's the speed that the car travels at? That's right, 100 miles an hour. Now, let's spice this situation up a little bit by introducing an add-on that extends the duration, the length of the road by 50%. How long will the car now take to reach the end? If you said 90 minutes or an hour and a half, congratulations, you're wrong. It's still one hour because as we said earlier, it's programmed to reach the end of the road after one hour. So if we put these two cars back to back, you can see that the car on the bottom is actually faster. It's now traveling at 150 miles per hour. Now we only introduce an add-on to extend the duration, the range, the length of the road. But because the car is programmed to reach it at the same time, you can see that this has the indirect effect of making the car faster. Even though this add-on doesn't really say anything about making the car faster. It's just the way that this little game is programmed. This might seem a little bit silly, and it's something that seems really stupid, but it's actually a problem that plagues DVD and has plagued DVD for a very long time. Here's a list of all the killers in the game, and as you can see, about nine or so of them are plagued by this from a little bit to quite a lot. And we're going to talk about all of these examples today and how they affect, sometimes positively, but mostly negatively, the balance and gameplay of the game. And starting off with an honorable mention, we have The Nurse, which was possibly the worst offender and greatest example of this in the game up until somewhat recently. She used to have range add-ons that extended the distance that she could teleport, but they did not extend the time it took to get there in a proportional manner. This meant that these add-ons made the nurse faster at teleporting anywhere. Even close distances would be teleported to faster with these add-ons, which made already the best killer in the game even more oppressive and gave survivors even less room for mistake. It was terrible. The developers seemed to acknowledge it as a feature, but eventually caved in and reworked her to remove this feature completely. So thank you for doing that. But now we're going to talk about some of the other killers where this issue still remains. And perhaps the worst example of the current Dead by Daylight version that we have is The Spirit. The Spirit was the killer where this issue was first identified uh, in. As far as I know, she was the first example where we noticed this years ago. And even though we reported it to the developers and they seem to acknowledge it, they did an add-on pass on her, and this issue still prevails, still survives, despite them changing her add-ons. So it all comes down with her duration add-ons. With her duration add-ons, you make her power um, go and last a lot longer, but the recovery doesn't take long as well. The recovery is the same. So that means that if you have a lot of, recover a a lot of uh, duration add-ons, and you use more or less the same power as another spirit that doesn't, you will actually recover it much faster, up to twice as fast or more, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. She, actually, she also has recovery add-ons, and these recovery add-ons are completely outmatched by her duration add-ons, which give better recovery than the recovery add-ons. So, especially when you consider the strength of the purple recovery, which is like 70%, and you pair that with the modded daughter ring, you have a killer that has insane speed, and very fast recovery as well, and and also the best duration possible. So she gets all three of them, which is two add-ons. It is pretty embarrassing that she is allowed to have add-ons this good, and probably very confusing for new players as well. Another very insane example of how this affects uh, killers in a very direct way comes from the knight. Now the knight has an add-on called Map of the Realm that extends the patrol detection range of his guards. And you might think like, oh well, it just makes it bigger at the edge, so this is just to detect people from a bit further, but it actually makes a huge, huge difference even from up close. Look at this footage that I'm going to show you on screen right now, and notice that I'm right on top of the knight, right on top of him. He summons a guard, I start to run out, and because his total maximum range is so small, and it takes a second and a half or so, to fully uh, extend to it, I can actually outrun a guard that is placed right on top of me. But with the map of the realm, this doesn't happen. Because the range is actually bigger and the time it takes to reach that range is the same, the range barely catches up to me when I'm running away. So 
So even though I'm definitely very, very close and I'm not at the edge of the radius where this extra distance should make a difference, the bigger range makes it so that um, during that one and a half seconds, the expansion covers more ground quicker. And that's what catches me. So this is an insane example of how just one tiny little atom makes such a difference. Another killer that is plagued by this type of... Um, of issue is the cannibal aka Bubba. And it's not just one add-on with Bubba, it's actually several of them, and some of them are bugs, so it's actually really, really messed up. Now, let's start talking uh, how Bubba works. Bubba has a speed curve. When he starts his Chienzo, he goes very, very slow, and when you um, when you've been going for a little while, it gets a little bit faster. But if you have add-ons that extend each of his uh, dashes, this curve doesn't remain the same. You, you actually extend the curve with it. This means that at the start, with the chili add-ons, you're actually a little bit slower. It's not a huge deal. It's really not a huge deal. The chili add-ons are so good that being a little bit slower at the start is more than worth it. But it is a big deal with his iridescent um, with his iridescent add-on. This one makes it stretches the 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 speed up of uh, the, the the it stretches the the speed curve so much that you're actually really really slow for a very long time during the first few seconds. And you'll notice that if you use it on survivors, you don't catch up to them. You're slower than them for several seconds. And this didn't used to be like this. This is probably a bug. And yeah, it's <laughs> it's a little bit it's a little bit ugly. And honestly, don't don't mess around with these add-ons unless you know what you're doing and you understand these bugs to 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 some degree. Next up, we have some killers that are not as affected but still show um, but still um, are affected a little bit by by this recovery slash duration uh, issue. The first one is lesion. With lesion, as you can see in this example. Uh, if you have the mischief list, you have two extra seconds of power, but you recover at the exact same rate, very similar to the spirit. So this duration add-on also gives you recovery. If you use half, if you if you go the whole way, you recover at the same speed as someone without the add-on, but the person without the add-on has two less seconds. So if you if you stop halfway again, you're getting better recovery. Something very very similar happens to Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head has add-ons to increase his recovery and increase his duration. But his duration add-ons are better than the recovery ones. Uh, again, let me just show you an example. This is what it looks like when you have no add-ons versus um, duration add-ons. As you can see, the recovery and the duration is much, much faster. But if you compare the recovery on duration from recovery on recovery, the duration add-on is better than the recovery add-on. Same as the spirit, pretty much, which is terrible. So, yeah, this should be changed. And Oni is also somewhat affected by this. So, uh, when the Oni uses his power, he has a limited time to use it. And downing a survivor removes a chunk of his power. Now, this chunk is not a percentage, as you might think. It's actually a flat number. Which means that if you have duration add-ons, you actually benefit a lot from it because you lose a smaller percentage of your power. So, how are we going to see this in action? Very simple. Uh, we use our power here. We immediately down a survivor. And then as soon as we can, we pick it up. And what we see is that with duration add-ons, I now have uh, less uh, of my power lost. And without any add-ons, I've lost more, which means I'll need more blood. Now, this shouldn't really be the case. Extra duration shouldn't really mean that you have to pick up more. And this makes the other add-on, which has a similar effect, really, really bad. He has an add-on or a set of two add-ons that make him lose less blood for downing a survivor. Guess what? Those add-ons are worthless. You don't want to run those add-ons. You want to run the duration add-ons because the duration add-ons are just straight up better. In almost every scenario, those add-ons are better. They do the same job and plus some other things, pretty much. Um, and the more you go into detail, the more you realize that this is the case. You might not think that judging this uh, side to side, it's a big difference, but it is a big difference. Over the course of one game, especially if you're planning of, on getting multiple downs per power, having duration actually makes your blood economy a lot easier, even 
if you don't use that duration, even if you just use your power in short bursts, which seems to defeat the point of duration. Uh, and uh, as I said, also makes other atoms less um, less of a, less desirable. Next up is a really, really strange one, and it's the clown. The clown has two uh, atoms to make his bottles exp um, reach further. Uh, one for the yellow one, don't recommend you use it, and one for the purple one. And the thing is, this was told to me told told to me a long time ago, and I tested it, and it seems to be true. Even though the 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 speed, uh, even though the the clouds of the of the tonic are meant to reach further, they do it in the same time. This one's a bit complicated, but if you compare it side to side, and I've done this frame by frame, very slowly, it does seem like having the chloroform makes the clouds actually uh, expand faster so if you're putting your if you're putting your your bottle slightly elevated with the chloroform they reach the ground a little bit sooner which might make a tiny difference it might make a tiny difference and this is not something the add-on tells you the add-on tells you that it, ex it expands further it doesn't tell you that it expands further faster to make up for it so it's one of those things that it's not a big deal but it's an extra thing that the add-on doesn't tell you that it does, and you can benefit from it. Another extra thing, uh, shout-outs to McLean for explaining this to me, comes from the Plague add-on. Yes, I wasn't sure. It's the Vial Emetic. The Vial Emetic. This add-on is only meant to increase the projectile velocity by 10%. But it doesn't actually follow the same arc. Making the speed greater also means that it reaches further. So if we do a little quick comparison, you'll see that with this add-on, not only does the puke go further, uh, faster, it also goes further. So that's a nice little side effect that is not explained in this add-on that you might want to know. And another case that's a little bit strange is the dredge. Now, this one I'm sure is fully intended, but it's also not explained very well. So I thought I would bring it up. Uh, in the case of the dredge, you have an add-on called the Automaton Riding, which makes your power come back faster when you teleport to your remnant or when you teleport to your to your lockers. But it also makes your power itself happen faster at the start of the game. So if you want to teleport somewhere fast at the start, this also is affected by this add-on, which I thought was interesting. Now, I did do some further testing on some other killers that I suspected might be affected by this, um, by this issue. And I was pleasantly surprised to discover that I was wrong. With Pinhead, we have add-ons to extend the range of his portal and of his chain. And both of these add-ons, as far as I could tell, have no effect on the actual speed. So well done, Behavior. You coded this one really well. The Hailbilly also has a bunch of add-ons that affect different parts of his saw, and to the best of my ability, I couldn't find any example of one of them giving you an unfair advantage or disadvantage. They do what they say and say what they do for the most part. There was also an old uh, feature of light, I don't know if you could call it this, where if you had the add-ons that extend the time where he can remain um, in guard between rushes during his bump, um, this would make you move faster. This also had something to do with speed curves and so on. It, it seemed very, very noticeable back in the day that you could bump into something and move much faster with these add-ons, which were the Rose Tonic and the Pustula Pedal or something. But this doesn't seem to be the case anymore. I think they either patched it out directly or indirectly. Uh, as far as I can test it, it's very, very tiny. Maybe it's unnoticeable. I couldn't find it to work anymore. So I don't think these add-ons actually have any side effect. And all the other killers, either I didn't find anything, or it doesn't seem like there's any issue, but who knows, maybe you guys know of one add-on that does something other than what it says, or does something extra. Um, at the end of the day, with some of the cases that I've explained, it's not a big deal. In fact, the add-ons do more than what they explain, which is good, it means that they're useful. But with some of them, especially Spirit, especially Knight, I really, really think they should reconsider these add-ons and either scrap them, make them base kit, do something so that it's not confusing and it doesn't obfuscate the game any more than it needs to so that balancing it and understanding it and playing it and enjoying it is easier for everyone. Uh, that's all. Uh, <laughs> thank you for enjoying this documentary and I see you in the next video with hopefully a more cheerful topic. Thank you for watching.